the hell? It's like a hurricane came through. Stay alert. Such luck. That's a TV helicopter. They're here already? We have wounded. What happened here? It... It was furious. It destroyed everything in its path. What did... A monster. Robo, I'm in the Channel 9 helicopter. I'm seeing a lot of movement on the executive floor. I know exactly where that is. No, get the injured out of the building. I will handle what is up there. You sure? Positive. You heard him. Let's evacuate everyone. Hurry up! Murphy, we're finding more and more wounded. And they're all giving me consistent descriptions. So unless everyone is getting it wrong, there's an old friend waiting for you upstairs. You can expect... Trouble? That's right. Make sure there is no one left in the building. Will do, partner. to the western corner of the executive floor. It's... it's something. I... from me Robocop my number one guy there seems to be a misunderstanding Robocop I want you to leave you a message before I undergo this procedure it has been a long and laborious process but it has given me the opportunity to observe you closely <laughs> The old old man! Uh, that you! I I didn't know! I I, I didn't mean to! Only now do I truly understand what others see in you. I realize why they cheer you off. And it is because they can look past your mental exterior and see that somehow you haven't lost your humanity. That puts my mind at ease. You made me realize that I do not have to fear what is about to happen. I can remain human, as you have. Selfless and devoted to something bigger than myself. Uncorruptible. And that is what I always strive to be, Goodrock Murphy. I cannot wait to see what the future has in store for us. You sold the city's future. That leaves one question. <laughs> Scrapyard or prison, creep. Just an old friend. 
You will not win this.
going somewhere? person here that needs saving. What? Murphy? We are not done yet. Thank you. Did anyone see him? I can't see anything. Move closer. Negative. When the building collapses, the dust cloud will choke the engine. Oh my god! Murphy! No! No, no! Wait! I see something! Is that him? Talk to me! It is me, Lois. It has always been me. Another week passed since the OCP's magnificent giant has fallen. OCP's new CEO assured us that the destruction of its headquarters will not stand in the way of finishing Delta City. Japanese corporation Kanemitsu has already shown interest in OCP's most prominent project. We at Media Break welcome them with open arms. Delta City Yokoso! From the City of Wonders, we're back to Detroit. John Mills goes down in the history of the city as its shortest serving mayor, excluding premature death. He offered his resignation on his very first day of office. According to a reliable source, Mills expressed, and I quote, I did not sign up to run this dump. Are the new elections ahead of us, and has the city recovered after the previous ones? Now it's time to introduce a new segment, You the Detroiters where we share feel-good stories from our local communities. An escaped python terrorizing the local neighborhood has been reunited with its owners. 
But that wasn't the only thing that was returned. X-ray of the reptile's insides has shown the stolen watches together with the remains of the thief himself. Pickles, a local addict, was so intoxicated with Nuke that the drug was absorbed by the python, which explains its bizarre behavior. Isn't that food for thought? Next up, Sunblock 5000 model nearly torn to pieces by an ED-209 after not adhering to the 209's instructions. The dispute over a parking space could have turned deadly if it wasn't for Dr. Olivia Blanche, a seasoned psychologist who managed to keep a cool head during the 209's intervention. Dr. Blanche's new book, Coping with Loss, is said to be of value to both people and machines alike. A defamed reporter funded by terrorists. After trying to illegally broadcast a hit piece aimed at OCP, Samantha Ortiz has been spotted collaborating with a terrorist group led by a woman known in the underworld as Bertha. OCP denied... We're sorry for the disturbance. Fortunately, this time it was a minor one. Let's move on. A new world record has been set in Detroit. A man called Funeral Bob attended his thousandth funeral this year. The record-breaking funeral belonged to Max Becker, a former OCP executive. As it turned out, Bob was its only attendee. The OCP delegation did not arrive due to a rescheduled business meeting. We hope the meeting went well. Moving on. The owner of a local restaurant, Onion Baji, in cahoots with a ring of zoo thieves. The restaurant was proved to source the ingredients through crime. The arrest was made by a rookie neighborhood cop, Ulysses Washington, and according to his statement, it wasn't the first animal he had saved. One question still remains unanswered. What happens to Robocop's human status? We've been informed that due to Mayor Mills' resignation, the matter will not be pursued by his office. Robocop's efforts have prompted a public conversation. I saw on TV that it suffers from some kind of malfunction. What if he mistakes us for criminals or something? Who's gonna defend us from him? I thought you were with us, Robo. Human rights for a robot. What's next, refrigerators? It's been a busy time for Detroit, but the cloud that lowers over the city is lifting as police end their strike. We're ready to serve, said Officer Ann Lewis, who returned to duty despite her recent injury. What heroism. Detroit can sleep soundly tonight. The question is, for how long? That's all for today. This was Casey Wong. Until next time.